Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn about the Python precedence rules. So this table shows a list of different operators with the highest precedence starting at the top and the lowest precedence down on the bottom. Um, precedence basically means if you have some kind of arithmetic expression like a plus b times d divided by c and then times the exponent of y and so on and checking if that is greater than or less than something and then using you know mixing that with ands and ors or not what happens first that's the question so the precedence rules tells you what happens first and the first thing that happens is it looks for every where there's parentheses and it evaluates the stuff inside the parentheses first okay so if you have a complex expression and you want to make sure something gets evaluated first you use parentheses it also makes your expression a lot easier to read for other people that don't understand the precedence rules. Next is the exponent. So that's two asterisks in a row. So those get evaluated next. And then the unary minus sign, which is basically negation, like a negative five. So those, those happen first. And then all the multiplication, division, and modulus, also called modulo operator, the, that happens next. And everybody knows multiplication and division before addition and subtraction, right? So naturally on this list, next is addition and subtraction happens. So after all those expressions get evaluated, they may be separated by these relational equality and inequality and even membership operators. So that's the less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, the equality operator, not equal to, and then the in or not in membership operators. And then finally, if you had a compound expression separated by ands and ors, um, if there's a not, the not happens first. So the negation happens. It takes something true and makes it false or something false and makes it true. And then there's and, which if two expressions are, two operands are both true and makes the entire expression true. But if either side is false, then um, the entire expression becomes false. And then with the logical or, the last thing to be evaluated in the precedence rules means that either side has to be true for the entire expression to be true. And if they're both false, then the entire expression is false. So again, these are the Python precedence rules. Keep this list handy if you're ever writing really complex Python expressions.